Hey guys, welcome back. And today I wanted to do for you a video on this palette. And this is a Juvia's Place. This is a Nubian 3 Coral palette. And this is how the palette looks like. It's beautiful coral shades. It has some cool tones up there, those grays. I have already done my eyebrows and I've already put moisturizer on my face. And I'm gonna use this primer. And this is from Lily Richards and her uh, website is called Lavish by Lily. It's a very nice primer. I like it because it does not have fragrance at all and a little bit goes a long way. I wanted to put that primer on so it can sit a bit, a little bit, because I want to do my eyes first. I'll be using the Ruma 4 P. Louise base all over my eyes as my eyeshadow base. With the base down on both eyes and I'm gonna be using my Sigma blending E25 brush I'm gonna go in with that shade right there and I'm gonna put that on my crease and uh, this palette it doesn't have any names on the shade so I'll just point them out and it's pretty pretty pigmented and because I have the base and it's kind of wet I'm gonna tap in the color first then I'm gonna go in and apply it all over. These shades are really, really pigmented. We all know Juvia's Place is known for their really, really pigmented eyeshadows. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. I kinda wanted it a bit um, darker than that. Okay, with the eyes looking all coral-ish, I wanna go in with that dark shade and I'm using the small Sigma E27 detailed blending brush. I want to put this to darken my crease in the sockets of my eye and hopefully this comes out the way I want it to come out and I'm also putting some on the corner of my eye. And if you saw in my previous video I really like this brush because it goes inside like right there inside my eye socket. I'm gonna do the same to the to the other eye and now I'm gonna go in with the shimmer shades I want to use that shade right there and I'm gonna put it right there and if this does not come out well I think I'm gonna try wetting the brush and hopefully maybe that will help it's showing off a little bit better I'm gonna do the same on the other eye I'm gonna be a bit daring. I'm gonna use this shade. I'm gonna put that after this shade right here. And then I wanna blend it in a bit with that, the other shade. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. And then I wanna put the silver one on the corners of my eye. And I wanna use a smaller brush for this. I'm gonna use this Sephora brush and it's a pro shader, it says 18. I'm gonna take that silver thank god it's not chunky I don't know if it's because I put the base second on this eye so the base has dried up a bit I don't know but my silver shade is not showing as much as I want it to show okay I went back in and with a like the clean brush I ended up putting more of that silver shade because I noticed it was getting a little bit muddy. I don't know if it's because I put the base, the P. Louise base later on this eye, so maybe the base dried a bit. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm you know, I'm learning how to use this base because I think it's best to use when wet. So I think, I think the best thing to do is put on one eye, do your eyeshadow, then put the base again and do the other eye. I think that's how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. Actually, before I do the rest of my face, I want to go back with that shade that I used initially and I want to put it on the top of my eye right here just to blend all these shades together. And that is too big. That brush is too big. Okay, I switched brushes because the one from Sigma was a little big for what I wanted to do. I'm using a Luxie 121. This is mini tapered. It's, gonna, it's small enough to just go up here and blend all these shades in. Um, and I'm adding a little bit of the, the initial coral shade that we used. Let's go ahead and do the face. Like I said, I already put the primer earlier. And I'm going to use Juvia's Place Foundation. And I'm in the shade Gabon, which is 300. And I think I'm going to have to go to a lighter, sh uh, lighter shade when it gets 
to be winter. I think I better I went a bit ham <laughs> with that foundation. Oh, okay. Might have put a little bit too much. Okay, I'm kind of taking out a little bit of that foundation that I put on. I thought I might have put in a little bit too much. And I'm using this little brush again is from uh, Lily Richards and her website is called Lavish by Lily. She has one of those really comfortable matte lipsticks. I think you guys have seen me wear on Instagram and if, even on Facebook, if you follow me on Facebook. Uh, those mattes are really, really comfortable. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I'm in the shade Dark 46. I'm gonna blend that out and I'm gonna use this sponge from Bikki Blender and uh, they put me on their PR list and I'm sure you've seen this on Instagram and on social media. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna use this and hopefully I wanna see how this works and it's already done. I went ahead and set my concealer and I used the Smashbox. This is the set powder in photo filter and um, I didn't use uh, loose powder. I used uh, the set powder and that's how it looks like and this this to me works for me. Now, uh, ready, so I'm going to go ahead and now put powder back on my face and I'm going to be using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and this is in deep. And back to this, this actually does a pretty good job. As you can see, it blended very, very well. I don't see any streaks. I don't see any, you know, lines. It didn't lift my concealer off my face, uh, which happens if the beauty blender or whatever you're using is too wet. So I just wet this and it's huge and it, it blows up to be so big. If you saw my Instagram page uh, pictures, I have one small and one dry and one wet and the wet one really blows up but this is pretty good and this again is from Beaky Blender and it does a pretty good job. I'm impressed. I like it. So I'm gonna use that powder and I'm gonna put the color back on my face. I want to wear some contour. Uh, this is a makeup forever. I think this was in S118. I think I think that's the number. And I'm gonna use this brush from Andrea Renee and Peach and Pearl. For blush, I'm going to use uh, Juvia's Place and this is the Saharan Blush uh, Volume 1. I'm going to use that shade right there, that one. Don't forget that, ooh, this Juvia's stuff is so pigmented. Oh lord, I put too much. That's okay. I'll take it out just now. It's too much for me. Just take the, the brush that had your foundation and you can just stamp that. Don't add any foundation. Just put that in there and just stamp that in. Don't put, not, not too much because you have powder and you don't want to look cakey. I'm going to leave it as that. I don't want to put too much. Okay, for highlight, I'm going to use this Laura Geller highlight and this is in Gilded Honey. I got this in my boxy charm box. Oh, wow. <laughs> I used just a little bit and it's, it's enough for my both my both cheeks. I'm not even going to put anything more. Oh, and I'm using a tapered highlighter brush from Sigma and this is F35. That is a beautiful highlight. Wow. Going back to the palette, I'm going to go in with that deep shade right there. I'm going to smoke out my lower lids. Back to the palette, I'm gonna use that shade right there and again, I'm gonna put that on my lower lids. Now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs, this is in the black eyeliner and I'm gonna line my waterline. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create a wing and I'm gonna use a Kaja K-A-J-A, -A, uh, the wing liner and like I showed you the last time in my video, this is the right side and this is the left side. And this is how it looks like. And then you stamp it and then you line it with this black liner that they gave us. I'm going to start off with the 
the right eye. So this is a liner that Kaja gives you and it's a liquid eyeliner. Makes it so much easier if you pull your eye and then you line um, because of the folds we have in our line so that kind of straightens out your eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and wear mascara and I'm gonna be using the Superhero 8, <laughs> Superhero 8 Cosmetics Mascara. Gonna go ahead and set all this and I'm gonna be using the Morphe Setting Continuous Setting Mist. Go in with a Bikki Blender again and stamp all that in. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the palette again and I'm gonna go back to that silver shade that we used originally. And on a pencil brush, this is from Andrea Rene Peach and Power get that silver shade and pop it in the corners of my eye. I'm gonna go wear my lashes and I'll be back. Hey guys, so my lips, I just realized that this part did not record and I didn't tell you guys what I was using. I'm using, I use the Shayla Colourpop Lip Liner in BFF number four. This is her latest collaboration with Colourpop and I used lip glass in the shade Spice and that's how it looks like. So, this too. And uh, that's what I have on my lips. <laughs> 